Hey everyone, um, as you can see, I'm sure you noticed that I am using a PC. Yes, yes, I know, I know, but I have no choice and this will be the situation for the next couple of months. So, I'm sorry, just bear with it. Um, everything pretty much is the same except for the, for everything looking ugly. Um... You know, it's so weird. I, I <clears throat> started using this, and it's like I'm using a whole new... It's just different. Uh, you know, I started with PC, and then I went to Mac, and, you know, I guess I could say I got spoiled, because I come back to this, and it's like, what the hell? So, yeah, this is definitely not... A machine PCs are definitely not machines for designers and photographers and you really you don't truly realize this until you use a Mac for a few years and then for whatever reason you have to go back to a PC um, it's it's a very hard transition unlike the transition from going to PC to Mac it took me no time at all to get used to it basically five minutes later I was like done with PCs so yeah guys just uh, want to apologize in advance um, if you never owned a Mac I'm sorry you just won't understand but it's bad <laughs> so today what I'm going to do is just a quick demonstration of how I create this image here on the screen right now um, I will show you a before and after and I will be using my Wacom tablet to do my editing. Uh, as you can see this is Lightroom 4. We're going to go ahead and go into the develop module and let's go ahead and just reset this image. Okay so there's my original image as it came out of the camera. You can see how soft and bland it is. Okay so bear with me here because bear with me here because the way I have my to view my Wacom tablet it's kind of odd so if well I guess that'll work uh, see what see every time I plug in my Wacom tablet I have to reconfigure it because it ends up going I have a second monitor you guys can't see it but well I'll show you you see I have a second monitor here and it goes into the second monitor of the mouse so let me um, ah. I shouldn't have even touched it dang on it well What a pain, dude. I'm telling you. Yeah. Now it just won't stay there. What a hassle. Okay, everybody. Sorry about that. We're back in Lightroom. I guess everything's working okay now. Um, my Wacom tablet is configured correctly so let's get started first thing that I want to do of course is let's go down to my clarity and bump that all the way up to 100 that is the beginning of making the image grungy and gritty looking the next thing that I want to do is give it some contrast so let's bump the contrast up a little bit let's maybe boost up the let's see saturation maybe yeah Mm. just a little bit I don't want too much explosion of color in there and what about the vibrance can we bring the vibrance up a little bit there's not much to bring vibrance up on but alright so let's go ahead and you see the shadows right here are really 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 black and under here and these areas and maybe under here so I want to lighten that up a little bit so let's just bring the slider up just a little bit 
29 should be good. All right. So now let's see. All right. Let's bring up. Let's negative the vignette a little bit. Uh, yeah, that looks good. All right, awesome. All right, so now let's come back up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my adjustment brush. It's already set to clarity. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around the image. It's already set at 100. I want to really punch this with clarity. All right, looking good. It's a little choppy. All right. Enter, enter. All right, good. So, you know, that's looking pretty good. But what I want to do is if I zoom in here. All right, we got her mascara to run a little bit. You know, we smudged it up, but it doesn't look smudged up enough. And you can also see there's a lot of noise in this image, and that's what I want. I want it to look like that. I want it to be nice and grungy and dirty looking. So that's that's doing good. What I don't want to do is I'm not I'm not going to get rid of any of these blemishes because that just adds to it. All right, so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and go into Photoshop. Give it a minute because it's a PC and it likes to take forever. All right, it's still thinking. This is ridiculous. All right, what's going on here? Hello? Is it still thinking? Yep, there it goes. All right, rendering, it's reading it. Wow. All right, finally, we're in Photoshop. So what I would like to do is first off, let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay. Now that we're zoomed in, let's come up here. All right, so how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to make a new layer. Make sure it's on top of the original layer. And I am going to grab my brush tools already selected and black as my foreground color. So what I'm going to do, I already have the opacity set at 31. And let's just emphasize this right here. Make her look like a raccoon, and you know that makeup's really, really smudged here, so that's looking good. Now, every time you pick up your pen, what it's going to do is it's going to add another layer of uh, color on there. So if your opacity is set at 31, and you just hold it, it's going to stay at 31. If you take your pen up, and then you put it back down on that same layer, what it's going to do is it's going to make it darker. And again, darker. See? So you got to be careful with that. So let's get rid of that. All right. So that's looking pretty good. Now let's just back up on that a little bit. I think that's all I want to do on there. So let's go ahead and bring it back into Lightroom. So save and then switch to Lightroom. And 
and let's see here I think we might be done yep so I think that looks pretty good so that's my image um, I hope you guys liked it if you have any questions you can reach me at christianperello at me.com and be sure to check out my website at christianperello.net thanks for watching guys